we've been doing this moon turtle thing where we write about the moon for about a month. Every day he has us, um, Mr. Terry, he has us like have a drawing on the left and then he uh. has us write at least three sentences. And tonight we are going to uh, uh, look at the moon through these binoculars and also a telescope and, and our cat. family will be here and we can all look through the telescopes and the binoculars to see the moon. We're here tonight so we can celebrate not the moon, not a fancy telescope, but really amazing hard work that your fourth graders have done over the course of a month. Homework every night, right? But for homework to be intentional, there has to be a reason for it. Now, when we started this unit, I talked about scientists from 400 plus years ago. Who was it? Galileo. Galileo, Galileo the father of observational astronomy. He didn't make wild accusations. He didn't say, I know this is this and I'm gonna prove this. He just looked, he documented, he learned. He made mistakes and he presented his work. Good science. And for a month, your kids have done some amazing science, great data, and noticing some amazing scientific patterns. Of course, yeah, yeah. Right there. So we look straight, that one's Jupiter. Jupiter oh, should be the brightest uh, one. Neptune, if we look, come look this way. It could be like, so oh, look I think right, look oh, right, look at that, look at that. Yeah, look right through. That one's, what's that one? See those, uh, there's three moons around it. There's a big dot and then the oh, moons cool. are. Yeah, that's cool. Could you like focus it more? Yeah, let me. Peter was like, yeah, this is how they 